Hello and welcome to Little Pie, and today I will be covering how to do packet sniffing with Wireshark. Now, Wireshark is a free to download open source program available online. I'll drop the link down uh, in a second, but we'll be using Wireshark as it's one of the most popular packet sniffers to sniff packets from the now popular game Among Us. Um, nothing malicious, just reading the messages coming from the players during the voting and other miscellaneous garbage like the movement and positions which currently I don't know what they mean it's just a bunch of random letters but I'll show you it anyways so first off you're going to need a game or an app or something that you want to sniff the packets from uh, it can be almost anything just you need to be able to sniff them and if it's ultra encrypted crazy madness then probably not but if you're just uh, want to log into your Wi-Fi router and you can start like a SSH terminal and watch as the secure packets go by or you could use other insecure methods like file transfer protocol FTP but the insecure versions the older versions and watch the files and packets being sent back and forth um, so first off it's just among us I'm not doing anything suspicious or malicious it's just looking at what messages are going through because you cannot decode the uh, messages as of yet what the position of data is, so there's no hacks going on, just easy to do. So now that you've seen Among Us for a while, I'll show you Wireshark. Now once you open up Wireshark, which I'll drop a link in the description, get a card somewhere to download from this website. Yay, that's it. Um, yeah, you just click on download and uh, enjoy, and then we'll head back. Yeah, so. Now that we are in Wireshark, what you're going to do is you're going to find the adapter that you want to use for the transfer. Now, I found sometimes that if you use Wi-Fi, you will encounter a bit of an issue with opening games. For example, I use Steam to run Among Us, and it wouldn't let me open it because it had turned off the internet connection for some reason. It was still monitoring packets, but there was none coming in. It was just outgoing requests that were not being met so uh, if you have issues with Wi-Fi try running it through Ethernet or local area connection whatever works for you and you'll see traffic coming through so I won't worry too much about that and uh, the adapter for loopback traffic source this one here uh, that's just outgoing I believe it's just it's either just outgoing or just incoming so I wouldn't use that just don't use that one so you're gonna go to Ethernet 5 uh, or whatever your chosen adapter is and once you've opened it up you'll be met with a stream of data which you will not be able to see on my screen but um, if you could you'd see different colors streaming through and uh, you'll see different IP addresses and what kind of packets they are actually you might be able to see it you know what I'll, I'll see um, and they just come streaming through and if you like open up a browser and, and type something and you search something up you'll see the requests and the posts and the gets and whatnot coming through but it's encrypted right HTTT, bleh, HTTPS it's encrypted you cannot read what's happening so uh, going back to Among Us now so once you've opened up your game or app now I'm just going to do Among Us and just assume that you know what's happening um, so we will Get you some beautiful Among Us sounds. If you don't want them, doesn't matter. Also, now is when I'm going to start playing the game. So I'm going to put a timestamp on the screen now. So if you don't want to watch me actually playing and doing the actions, then uh, just skip to then. That's when I'll start showing you what the packets are recording. Make sure at this point, actually, I should mention Wireshark is running. All right, you want to make sure that up here it's running. You can see the stop. You don't want to click that, but you want to see that it exists, so it is running. So right now it's downloading everything. Take note of the time, by the way, if you want, um, and that will help. There's the time there. You might have to change it in view and time somewhere in here. Um, just so you know when you've started, because there's a lot of packets going through. You don't want to get them messed up. So I'm going to join an online game, one that's going to start soon, like this. HUD Master, I know, it's beautiful. Any random username works. But notice these messages here. All right, notice my username. Uh, just you know, random username generator, and uh, the messages coming through. And notice the players' usernames as well. Um, 
and so the game is now beginning. Uh, Alright, so this is when it's still transferring packets, it's talking to its server, which I believe is a Linode server in case anyone's wondering. Uh, so my, I'm not the imposter, so I need to get my jobs done. Oh, here we go. So notice the messages here. This is where it's fun. All right. So here's no Halloween. What? Question mark. Why? Yellow. Where are you? Um, I'm blue. And then I'll send a message. Where? Question mark. And uh, you'll see that that's actually an outgoing packet as well. And when it shows up now. Wireshark can show you different colors based on what's outgoing, incoming, coming from where, going to where. Um, so this can go on for quite a while. Alrighty, so I lost that game. No worries though, we're just here for the packets. So leave the game, get rid of OBS. And uh, now that we've closed the game, you can stop. Now I'll recommend saving here, and I'll save it as two, because why not? Uh, not sure we have two dot pcap and g. Uh, all right, so we're going to notice that there's a lot of packets to be precise. There's seventeen thousand six hundred nine, but we're looking for these. Here they are. Now right-click follow UDP stream, and there you go. This is all the information aside from loading into the game. There's actual there's a separate stream from a separate server that does the lobby because the the lobby is set up by I'm assuming a separate matchmaking server which sends from a different IP. But here you can see the IP of the server. So the destination was my local host, and the server that was sending it was fifty one one six two one 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 sort of thing. Now here we have my username, online game, and that so blue is server packets and red orange is client packets and you can see down here on mark from server to me it's blue and that's what the server sent me does everyone have halloween hats unlocked sort of thing and now my packets from here to that now notice what it says it spits out base 10 and then the alphabet, which I thought was interesting. Um, notice that this is the raw UTF-8, but I'm using ASCII, and we'll go further down. I reckon in here is where it defines who does what, but we don't know that just yet. Where? So at this point, an emergency meeting's been called. You can tell because this is positional data. It's who's doing what and who is what. And then here is first message, and then nothing. Just the messages, which you can't see all of them. And then there's everyone moving around again, which you can tell. And there we go, my message for Kanye vented from cafe. I went into cafe and reported where, and then the teammate said, where, cafe. So this is my outgoing packets. This is where I'm going. Bro, you vented the cafe before. Agreed with Durak, vote pink bros, other great gamer noises. Um, so remember, blue is the server packets. So here we go. This is what the server is sending me is other players' positional data. Now each one of these is a the packet. Keep in mind, no Halloween stuff for me. So that's, they're probably talking about the uh, little hack where you <laughs> bring the time forward and get Halloween. Um, but as you can see, The names all come out. So this is my username, and I was not the imposter. Uh, so we need to figure out who is. Obviously, it would be great, but no hacking. So this is you can see my position data when I was moving and where I was, and then you can see everyone else's, which is funny because notice mine are quite small, even though I'm moving, doing the work, the tasks, and then notice that everyone else comes in. So it's not just people I see in my viewport, it would be the entire map 
with load in, which is interesting because that means that if you know who the imposter is, you can see what they're up to. And it goes on for quite some time. I need to figure out what the positional data is, but the bell happened. And you can notice emergency meeting called. Bang. What? Why? Yellow, where are you? Blah, blah, blah. Stop pushing that button so soon. I was with orange doing tasks. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Again, movement after the button. So I know it doesn't look very interesting, but if you think about it, that's pretty cool that you can see the messages coming back and forth. And uh, I reckon you probably could figure out what some of these packets actually mean in these areas here. The positional data. If you try hard, see messages again. And then at the very end, you get an end game notification. And uh, it looks like when someone votes, it spits. See, I, I wanted to check, so I put out done right after I voted. So it looks like this means I voted, whatever that means. Um, so that's just a little packet sniffing thing that you can do just to play around. It's not necessarily a tutorial on how to packet sniff, because there's way better ways to do it and explain it, uh, like hacking into your own, your own uh, Wi-Fi router using insecure, like Telnet, insecure services like Telnet and whatnot. But uh, I thought I'd show it. You know, it's pretty interesting to go around and see what's happening in the game. Someone who's much smarter than me can probably figure out what the data actually means, the positional data, because that would be really cool to have that. But uh, it'd be a bit of a cheat. Interesting though, well that was sort of a small explanation of what Wireshark can do, not necessarily how to use Wireshark. I might make a video like that in the future, so I'll watch out for that. Um, so this is Little Pie, and there you go, I've just shown you basic packet sniffing. Now I do want to mention something that some people might have an issue with, is filtering what packets coming from where. So know your IP address, right, so I just want packets coming from and to my IP address. So that's it there. So you can tap on this, and here's the different ones you can filter with. I have, P I have version 4, so I can just type in 192.168.1.40, enter. And then here's all my packets again. Pretty cool. Alright, that was uh, Little Pie, and this is the end of the video. Watch out for another video explaining how to use Wireshark, a basic sort of how to get used to it, figure out what it does. So this is the end. Please like and subscribe if you want. Please consider. It's wonderful. Helps it out a lot. Thank you.